From early morning lattes to late night shame pizzas, it's hard to go a single day in Australia without buying something from a franchise. We have one franchise for every 310 people, which puts us second in the world behind New Zealand, itself a franchise of Australia. <laughs> Now, franchising is sold as one of the best ways for mum and dad investors to own a small business, as you'd know if you've ever caught The Franchise Show on Channel 7. Franchising gives small business the benefit of big brands, and that's a big plus in terms of likely success. Within two years of being in the business, our mortgage was paid off and we thought, oh, great, this is fantastic. Returning in August? <laughs> oh, I've got time to binge-watch season one again. I love that episode where Gloria Jean finally hooks up with Michelle Patisserie. <laughs> oh, Gloria, I love you so much. <laughs> the franchise show pretends to be impartial information when it's mostly sponsored content, much like Donut King's V Donut pretends to be food when it's mostly a caffeinated alien testicle. <laughs> but when it comes to owning a franchise, just like the food, the promises don't always match the reality. I lost my house. My sister, my brother-in-law and the kids lost their house. My mum and dad nearly lost their house. Julia Banks' Brisbane Donut King has become a living nightmare. She and her husband bought the franchise after being given what they claim were incorrect financials. They thought the store was going well, but after signing the contract and moving in, they found it was running at an annual loss of $100,000. A hundred grand a year? For that, you could depose the Donut King and set up your own Donut Republic. <laughs> yeah, sure, we all love the Donut Weddings and the Donut Baby, but isn't it time for our Donuts to stand on their own two feet? <laughs> Now, you might think that buyers should just do their homework, but according to some who bought into one of the nation's largest franchise companies, it's not always that easy. When prospective buyers ask to see the store's performance, RFG claims they can't because it's a corporate store. Instead, they show them example financials, which might be a high-performing store that RFG claims is similar. Example financials. Imagine if we could get away with that. You know, oh, I may not have paid my gas bill, but I think you'll find I've paid this example bill. <laughs> Some franchising models are so stacked against you, the only way to break even is to illegally underpay your staff. Red Rooster were caught red-handed, Caltex are under the pump, and Domino's have been falling like... <laughs> nah, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> these regular scandals led to an inquiry which is even shocking senators running it. The scale of the number of people who are writing to us who are too frightened to go on the public record is just alarming. 570 franchisees of Red Rooster Chicken Treat and Oporto have told a Senate inquiry they're facing bankruptcy because of a poor business model. They say their parent company forces them to buy ingredients at up to twice the price they could pay in supermarkets. Paying twice the price for supplies. That's like being forced to do your weekly shop at an organic grocer in an airport at the snow. <laughs> Which, if you've ever done it, is quite expensive. <laughs> Even some of Australia's franchise bosses want things to be better. Take Jim Penman, who you might know as the face of Jim's mowing, Jim's dog wash, Jim's bin cleaning. Uh, although I do draw the line at Jim's prostate exams. <laughs> Now, Jim told the inquiry that the franchising code of conduct does almost nothing to protect franchisees and allows vulnerable people to be ripped off by unscrupulous operators. You think that's shocking? How about this? Jim doesn't even have a beard! <laughs> yeah, you know what, Jim? How can you be the face of your own company when you're not even the face of your own face? <laughs> now, our politicians love to claim that they support small businesses. Well, it is time for them to actually do it. Because if they can't get the job done, we will take our business to Jim's Senate inquiries. <laughs> I just don't even know who you are anymore.